Hello, Boss World. Welcome to Box Block Center. According to Mr. Ian of Matron Boxer, the much anticipated heavyweight unification clash between the unified heavyweight rule of the world, Anthony Joshua, and the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder, could be had on days on. Showtime, on the other hand, is also a possibility, but Dazon looks like the favorite, you know, to head the fight. And Eddie Hearn also stated that a contract has been sent to Deontay Wilder to fight Adder Joshua, you know, next. A lot of people said Deontay Wilder might not sign it because normally he likes to fight on Showtime. He's been fighting there for quite a long time after leaving PBC. So it feels like Deontay Wilder is now a Showtime fighter, you know? But sometimes money talks. Deontay Wilder is very loyal to Showtime. And hopefully, he doesn't miss out on fighting at the Joshua Nest. Because, believe me, Dazon will be the next big thing in America. Even though a lot of people want Dazon to fail because of Eddie Hearn. Because Eddie Hearn is involved, they don't like Eddie Hearn. They despise the man who is actually elevating the sport of boxing in the UK right now. Actually taking boxing to a new level. You know? And people don't like the guy. I don't know why. I myself, I don't think Eddie Hearn is perfect. I think sometimes I don't like what he does. How he treats some of his fathers. Like our Davis. We all know what happened. But personally, I don't have a problem you know, with the guy. I don't have anything against the guy. I think he's a very good if not a phenomenal promoter, you know, he can talk a lot, you know, he knows how to hype up fights and he knows how to put up good cards, you know, because we've seen this Dylan White and Joseph Parker now. We've seen the card right now. He's stuck. You know, Chizora will be taking on Carlos Takam. That's a huge fight normally. So that's a headliner itself. So at the end, is doing the fans a huge favor and have to applaud him for that. But let's go back to the topic. <sighs> Will Deontay Water sign the contract? I don't know. If it doesn't sign it, well, <laughs> I might say something because I'm going to chastise the guy. Because you can't say that, hey, I will fight King Kong tomorrow. I will fight Godzilla tomorrow, and then when it's time to really, you know, put all those words into action, you pussy out. Don't do Don't do that. Okay. If you do that, believe me, I'm gonna chastise you. Definitely know that about that. So, uh, people are already complaining about why not on Showtime. I think Dazon has got a lot to offer. I think Dazon is making the right step. You know, taking the right step at the right time because, listen, Joshua versus Water is, if not the biggest fight now, because you can say Canelo and Triple G. Triple G and Canelo rematch is not that entertaining anymore because we all know what happened. Canelo is a cheater. So, Triple G, I will be supporting the guy to beat the hell out of Canelo, but I don't see that happening because, you know, the judges and everything. The corruption in America, you know, or in boxing, they don't say America, in boxing. So, I don't know. So, this is good news because I'm subscribed to the zone, you know, as well in Germany, you know, and they produce a lot of good contents, you know. They, I watch a lot of uh, sports there, sporting events there, I watch football. You know, and Americans call it soccer, but it's football because you play with your foot. So I watch uh, MMA there as well. 
I was kickboxing, I was golf, I was cricket, I was tennis, I was every major sporting events around the globe. So, and I only pay 10 euro a month. So that is a reasonable price, you know, in my opinion, it's a, it's a reasonable price. But some people, they like to complain. So who knows? I'm a sportsman. I love sports. So I think uh, this is a good move for the zone. But you guys should give your thoughts below with the underwater sign it or tone down the contract because he has been fighting on Showtime for a long time, like I've said before, and he wants to continue fighting there. But I think at some time, he's got to think for himself because the zone is going to really invest in this fight and you know they will gain a lot of subscribers if they're able to get the right for the fight you know if they're if they're able to acquire the right for the fight they will gain a lot of u.s subscribers because people will like to see it and the only way you can watch the fight it will be you have to register on the zone the zone will definitely be <clears throat> a good platform to watch you know boxing in america for those of you living in america go check it out i mean is they have not launched it yet, but I think very soon they will, and I think you will like it. Yeah, I love I love it. I don't know if it will change, but I'm loving it right now. Hopefully, it doesn't change. You know, I've watched Mayweather Pacquiao on Day Zone. I watched Joshua Klitschko. I watched Joshua Takam. Joshua Parker. Tyson Fury. Safari. Every major event I've watched, Andre Ward against Kovalev, I watched all on this one, so, and I only have to pay 10 euro a month, so I think it's good. Go check it out, guys, and give your thoughts below, like the video, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Cheers, everyone.